Hello everyone and welcome to the Castle of Connor. Today we're going to look at all the holiday decorations including the gingerbread house here at the Grand Floridian. Let's go check it out. Carousel of Connor. So this year the gingerbread house is actually like a kiosk. You can see that the cast members are inside there. You have this line right here which is pretty lengthy. It's a pretty long line. I'll let you guys know how long it actually is. But you go up there, you order the kind of snacks you want and then you know you go on your way. But I also like how they have the little 50th emblem right above the guest right there. That's pretty cool. If you guys are enjoying this video, looking at all the different holiday decorations here at the Grand Floridian, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. Here is the menu too, listing all the different items. There's a lot here, ranging from about three dollars it looks like to fourteen dollars. But of course, you have stuff down below, which is even more money. I mean, a signature gingerbread house is eighty dollars. You also have a grand gift box, which is fifty. So some of the things are a little more money, but some of the stuff that we're gonna look at today is gonna be around that $3 to $14 range. And, and we'll try some of them too, so make sure you stay till the end of the video so we can try some of these. And they actually have menus like throughout the line too. I think they have like two different menus before you go up there. And then they have one that's kind of like near the window, but I think so far, I think what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is do the marshmallow lollipop, the snowman donut, which are the two cheaper options. And then I'm gonna try the Mickey head caramel pecan fudge, which sounds really good for $6.50. So this is actually really cool too. If you look on the side of the gingerbread house, you see they have cute little like Mickey wreaths too, which are awesome. It's got like Mickey's face on top of the wreath. And then if you see, they have Anna and Olaf too uh, on top of that window. And then on top of this window too, they have Pluto and Mickey. And then if we go up, they have Bambi and the mom too. So how cool is that? And here's kind of a broader look from the side, but we already looked at some of the details, but you just see there's like a lot of cool little details on this gingerbread house. Very cool. It's my first time seeing it too, so I'm really enjoying this. And I feel like the flowers and the lights like around it too are just like a great touch too. Really adds to like the whole gingerbread house. Really cool. I don't know if you guys can really see this, but up ahead it looks like they actually have like a little display which we'll look at in a minute, which will show us some of the different items here. So maybe that will change what we're getting. But you can see this is the line too, so we are getting closer. You can see they're up by the window right there too, so we're getting close. Not quite there yet, but we're getting close. And check out the candy canes too, up by like one of the upper windows, which is really cool. They have like little flowers in them too, and they're like a white and gold color. But yeah, a lot of great little details here. So here are some of the different options too, including the $80 gingerbread set. That's it right there. That's what it looks like. Uh, here's the snowman donut, which I think we're going to try to get. So that's $4. That's one of the items we're looking at. Here's just uh, different other ones too. They have the gingerbread uh, caramel corn there and gingerbread cookie as well for $5.50. So and here are some of the different options you can look at. And they even have more of the options over on this side too. They have a cool video playing too right before you actually get up to the window that shows you kind of the process of making the gingerbread house and then working on it, which is really cool. You see it's got like a little 50th emblem too on the bottom right hand side. So really cool. And you can kind of see the process of, of what it took to get to here. And inside where the cast members are, you can actually see like little Mickey ornaments hanging from, you know, the roof inside there, which is kind of cool, you know, right behind those lights. So that's not something you can necessarily see, you know, from certain angles, but you can definitely see from this angle, which is pretty cool. And then you can also see they have like different like snowmen and different like Santa figurines too, uh, around like on different shelves and things like that. Also like with a little tree there as well. So, you know, really cool decorations. And it even explains on one of the slides on how they make the gingerbread dough, which is pretty cool. So I ended up getting three different options. I didn't get exactly what I thought I was going to get, but before we go look at this, I want to check out the gingerbread house a little more before we go and try some of these treats. So this is pretty cool. This is on the other side of the house from the opposite of where we were before when we were kind of looking at the side. And this has like a little porch too. You can see like the soldier kind of like saluting and stuff like that. And they have even more soldiers up on like that second half too. And you can actually see the cast members through that window too. So this is really, really cool. They also have a gingerbread man here, which actually says the ingredients they took to build this. And that's 1,050 pounds of honey, 145 pints of egg whites, 600 pounds of powdered sugar, 700 pounds of chocolate, 800 pounds of flour, 35 pounds of spices, and a ton of creativity, Disney magic, and pixie dust. So that's actually really, really cool. And I like that they say like everything that went into this. So this is actually on the backside too. You can see like other soldiers and Santa on the porch soon. They actually have like little chairs too where it looks like somebody might go up there and sit and look at the, like the little steps too. Really, really neat. 
And then if you go up, you have like more decorations too. You can see there's a snowman over that window. So I kind of like that theme too. They have like different characters over the windows. And you see more of those candy canes kind of sprinkled on it. And just look how tall this thing is too. It almost goes up to like the second floor. So pretty insane. And then if you look on the back side too, they actually have like a little like Christmas village on one of the levels too, which is cool. I always love a good like Christmas village too. This one looks pretty elaborate as well. So it's like all these little details. I, this, I feel like this is like one of those things that you could look at a bunch of times and probably see something new almost every time. And check out this window over here, Princess and the Frog at Tiana, which is super cool. And if you go a little lower, you got Mickey and Minnie too. So how cool is that? So uh, some cool couples they got, you know, over the windows. Really, really neat, really, really neat. And they have like a little blue Mickey on the side there. Guys, and just check out this scale of this tree too. It goes almost to like that third floor, which is pretty insane really cool view and it's also beautiful too it looks like it has like the 12 days of christmas which is cool too on there you can see like it's got the uh four there and they have numbers uh throughout but you can just see like little tiny details on this tree too which is super cool and i'm sure there's some that you probably can't even see uh, you know because it's so tall but really really cool so i'm not sure exactly what happened but before there was almost like nobody around now we got like a little more crowded people taking pictures and things like that but, uh, and I can see why. There's a lot of really cool stuff to look at. If you guys have seen the Gingerbread House before, put in the comments below what was that like? What did you think about it? Also, if you haven't seen it, what did you think of today's video? You know, what kind of amazed you about the Gingerbread House? What did you think about the prices of some of the items? And guys, don't forget, we still have to try some of those items, so hold tight. And here's a really nice like light up sign they have too, kind of talking about the different aspects of the gingerbread house. You can see like the finishing touches, which it looks like they're adding like the icing and like little decorations, things like that. Actually assembling the house, you know, doing all the measuring beforehand, apl actually applying it. So it's kind of cool how they have like the different steps. And here are the times for it too. So it opened on November 10th is when you first could see this. 9.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. So it's open for quite a while. So if you are here, you definitely go check it out. Very, very cool. And I think it's definitely worth uh, seeing this alone besides, you know, all the other great decorations they have here. Not too far from the gingerbread house, they have a really cool wreath over here with like the two swans, which I really love that too. Let's see if we can get like a little better angle if we move over here. But this is like right against uh, the wall here, a cool wreath, but I just love the swans like sitting on that. And then if you actually look here too, they have like the different days of Christmas too. Uh, 12 days of Christmas, really cool. And obviously you guys are not gonna catch this on camera, but it actually does like smell like gingerbread in here too. And I do know sometimes they'll play like Christmas music, you know, with the piano player here at the Grand Floridian. They'll play Christmas music. They're not doing it right now, but I can only imagine like, with the music and with the smells and actually the sights. I mean, this place just screams holidays. It's, it's really, really nice, especially, you know, with you and your family and things like that it'd be a really great spot to, to come and, and see. And that tree is so tall, which is cool because when your eyes kind of fall up, you can see all the different garland on the different rows. You can see some like guests, you know, kind of looking, you know, over, kind of looking at the gingerbread house from up top too. But that garland is like super nice too. It just, it looks beautiful in here, it really does. And check out this like garland display too, right when you walk into the main entrance of the Grand Floridian on the first floor. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I just love the, the, the light is really cool. And the garland, I mean, it really just like the full package. And then planted around the main entrance, a bunch of different like poinsettias. Some that have that more like pink color too, which mixes really good with like the ones that are really red. You know, really nice. And so this is what you'll see as soon as you walk into the main entrance on the first floor of the Grand Floridian. You see this tree has tons of details too. You know, see the different swans on that too. They had some horses. So these trees are really, really cool. And then of course, peeking behind that tree is the gingerbread house, which is kind of like the main thing here, which we already saw. Just a side note too, which is really nice, is they actually have the recreation activities as soon as you walk in. So, you know, as soon as your kids, or, or you know, not, even if you don't have kids and you walk in, you can see all the different activities right away, which I think is a really good spot to have. Because, you know, as soon as you get here, you want to do things. And if you can't go to the park that day, maybe, you know, you don't go to the park until the next day, you know, maybe here's just some stuff you can do that will substitute that. So the lighting is not the best here because we're shooting right up against a window, but I want to show these cool little like wreaths they have right behind the checkout desk. Uh, you can see they have, they have them all lined up, which is cool, but they're really nice. And then if you walk up these steps here, the main steps here at the Grand Floridian, you can see all the different garland that kind of lines up and goes all the way up to that second floor. 
So even inside the gift shop too, they have like smaller decorations too. And look at that, two turtle doves and like a little cage there, which is cool. And then what I like about this room is they have the garland all the way around. Cause it's kind of like a circular, like octagon like shaped room. And they have it all the way around. And then kind of like a main centerpiece with like some presents and the tree, really, really nice. And then the Sandy Grove, which is one of the other gift shops here on the first floor of the Grand Floridian, has really cool displays too with like Christmas trees outside. And then even inside they have a little garland around the gift shop too. So that's pretty much all the Christmas decorations they have in here too. But it really does kind of like, I want to say light up the room because they obviously have lights, but it's just like a nice touch too. And I like how it has the white lights with like the white like paint. I think that's like, a, and really, it, you know, works well. I actually came over by the Gasparilla Island Grill to try to see if I could find a seat to try some of these trees, but I actually see that they're setting up for a wedding here, which is really cool because especially if you look, the water's right behind that and you can actually see the castle over in the distance too. So this would be a really cool place to have a wedding for sure. I found a nice little bench over here where I can go and kind of look out of the water while I try some of these delicious treats. And again, you can kind of see that castle over in the distance if you look like straight ahead. So one of the items that I decided to get the last second that I wasn't originally gonna get was this like little brownie pop here too. Christmas tree brownie pop. It's got like icing on it too. And it's like maybe like little chocolates with like sprinkles on them too. And it actually says everything that's in these two. So it has all the ingredients and everything like that if you're, you know, wondering. And it's got like a little cute like blue bowl, uh, blue bow. So let's try it. And when you look at it from the back side, you can pretty much just tell it's, you know, a brownie cut in a triangle. All right guys, so here's the Connor taste test. So brownie's good. I feel like sometimes brownies can be like too chocolatey. I don't feel like that at all with this. Uh, it's not like dry or anything like that. It's very like moist brownie. So overall, really good. And uh, the icing, wasn't sure how the sprinkles were gonna be, but you know, the sprinkles are good on it. So next is the snowman brownie, which as far as like presentation goes, I don't think anything is probably gonna beat this. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna eat this too. Like out of this uh, little, container they got here but i am interested to try this so the thing i fear with anything like this that always looks as like good as this is that you know the presentation that's what you're paying for and the actual taste isn't gonna be that good but let's give it a go so the donut actually has like gingerbread taste to it it's actually like a really good donut there's not like too much like powder on it too where you're like choking on it uh but the donut's like moist the icing's good the chocolate on top the you know, little chocolate chips on top are good and overall, I actually was like really impressed with this. I didn't think it was gonna be that great, just cause I figured it was gonna be more about the presentation, but it's actually like pretty good. The gingerbread donut, not bad. So this is the caramel pecan fudge, which I thought looked pretty good. This is the most expensive item I got, it was 650. Oh well, no, well the Christmas tree pot was actually 650 as well. So same price, but yeah, check out that little like nice little Grand Floridian emblem too, which is kind of cool. But yeah, let's uh, let's try it. So because I actually haven't had any like real food yet, I've only had like dessert and stuff like that, I'm only gonna have a piece of the fudge here. It's like off of the ear of the Mickey Mouse. Again, this is that pecan caramel fudge. That's really good fudge too. Obviously it's got like the chocolate base, but you can taste the caramel in it too. There's a little bits of like pecans in there too. They're not like super hard, which is nice. Really, really good. All, overall, all three desserts, I kind of had low expectations. I don't know why, because Disney's desserts are usually pretty good. But for some reason, I didn't think everything was gonna be that great. Everything was really good. If I had to pick a favorite, honestly, I thought the donut was really good. I really like that donut. I thought the brownie was, was, was fine. For 650 though, I don't think I'd probably get that again. Or right, it was good, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't seem worth 650. The fudge though, I feel like fudge is usually runs pretty expensive, so a Mickey Mouse shape one for 650, I really didn't think that was that bad. So overall, I liked all the desserts we got at the gingerbread kiosk. And as I mentioned already, I've only had dessert today, so I'm actually gonna go over to Gasparilla Grill. I just mobile ordered and got the Artesian Burger, which I've had before, but we're gonna go over to Gasparilla Grill and do a little like food review and review that burger. I really like take this time to thank all my Patreon members. Your support really does mean a lot, so thank you so much, guys. So this is kind of interesting. We just picked up our burger, but I realized they put in like what you normally put like a cookie in. They put the lettuce and tomato of the burger, which I think is kind of a good thing, but I've never seen that before. So like I mentioned earlier, I've had this burger before. The fries are, are pretty good, but we're gonna try it now, see how it is today. But I just put the lettuce, tomato, and onions on it. So yeah, it's got some bacon on there too. So let's try it. This burger does cost a little over $12 too, so it's not the cheapest item, but again, it is like, you know, Disney food. As far as the fries go though, I already tried a couple. Thin cut fries, kinda tastes like McDonald's fries. 
Well, good, decent. Really, really good burger. It's cooked perfectly. The bacon on top, you know, it's bacon. You can't really go wrong with bacon. It's nice crispy bacon too though. It's not like, you know, floppy or anything like that, super greasy. Uh, the tomato, onions, and lettuce like really adds to too. Some cold or like hot. Overall with the fries and the burger, if you want like just fries and burger at McDonald's, I feel like this is, you know, a good choice too. It's, it's a delicious burger that's got, you know, a lot of toppings on it, which I like. And you know, decent fries. So if that's what you're looking for, I feel like this is a great spot over here at Gasparilla Island Grill. And obviously, I've been here before. I've had this before. I've gotten it again. I think I've had it probably twice, maybe even three times at this stage. So that just shows you that, you know, obviously I enjoy it. If you guys have been to Gasparilla Island Grill, put in the comments below what did you think of here? What did you have? When did you come here? Was it breakfast, lunch, dinner? Just tell me about your entire experience. I always love to know. Put that in the comments below. So right after lunch, actually it looks like the line for the gingerbread house is a lot shorter than it was when I was there. I mean, not a ton shorter, but a little bit shorter. And then on the second floor gift shop too, they have like a little center display here too. And then around this like little time room, they have different garlands. That's gonna do here guys at the Grand Floridian. Thanks for checking out all the holiday decorations with me, including the gingerbread house. Like I said, that was my first time seeing the gingerbread house. So that was a super cool experience. If you haven't got to do it and you are in Disney World, I would highly suggest maybe taking the time to check that out because this is something unique and that they only have, you know, once a year. So it's really cool that they have that. So thank you so much for watching everyone and we'll see you on the next go around.